Ragu the pig, we were digging him a giant mud pit for him to actually bathe in. Pigs love mud pits, but it just did not go according to plans. Ragu kind of likes to be held. Now, Ragu is also a little Rasta man right here. We have him a nice little Bob Marley hat. My sister has done an absolutely amazing job raising Ragu the runt. Ragu, Ragu, come here. Okay, get him, get him, get him. No, no. What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now for today's video, well, today's video did not go according to plan. In today's video, I was actually over at my grandma's house where my sister has been staying and I was with Ragu, her rescued pig. Now, with Ragu the pig, we were digging him a giant mud pit for him to actually bathe in. Pigs love mud pits, but it just did not go according to plan. Some things went wrong, so if you guys want to see what went wrong with today's video, well, stick along and you will find out. But before we actually hop right into today's video, well, I got to give all of you a couple of updates on the baby rock iguanas. And there they are, the little baby Cuban rock iguanas. So you can see they're utilizing the shell that I put in there well. You can see that one's got just his little tiny head there, and we have the rest. Now, sorry if it seems like there's little lines there. I've actually un blurred these this mesh right here but these guys are just absolutely loving their enclosure it's about time for these guys to be fed and you can see that that's actually the runt right there these guys are doing just so incredibly well and the Lewis Eye hybrids are doing great as well. So these guys are utilizing the big ceramic bark hut that I put in there. So they're using that to bask in the sun. We've got some there. We've got some over there. These guys are waiting for their lunch. If any of you are interested in actually having a pet Cuban Rock Iguana or a pet Lewis Eye hybrid, well, in a couple of weeks, these guys are gonna be available. They're gonna be needing new homes. So guys, I'm gonna be rehoming them, but you know, they do cost money. Obviously the Cuban Rock Iguanas are around $350 $50 each and the Lewis Eye hybrids are around $550 each. That's the going price for these iguanas. You know, they grow up to be just very large animals and they need a lot of space. So if any of you are potentially interested in these rock iguanas, well guys, go send me an email. It's going to be linked down below. I can put you on a list. You can reserve yours now. So let me know if you want one. And last but not least on the updates are my radiated tortoises. So these guys are doing so well and they're getting to be just so, so big. I mean, just look at them right now. Now for those of you that have been following the channel for a while you will know that the radiated tortoises their feet actually got chewed on by rats this one had his feet chewed on he's doing so well I honestly didn't think he was gonna make it but these animals are just so incredibly resilient and these are actually one of the most endangered tortoises in the world due to poaching and habitat loss on Madagascar and you can see this one is getting just some super nice white bands you can see they're just coming in right there and then we've got this guy right here just soaking up the moisture inside of the water this guy's getting nice and hydrated hanging out in the water I mean these are just my absolute favorite tortoises right here these critically endangered beauties so it's amazing to actually have these animals in my care hopefully one day I'll be able to breed this magnificent species right here I mean who would not want one of these tortoises the radiated tortoise in my opinion is the most beautiful of all tortoises and one of the ones that we actually need to protect most from extinction so now that all of you got an update on the radiated tortoises and the Cuban rock iguanas it's time to hop in today's pig mud bath <laughs> Guys, I am back at my grandma's house. Now, the reason why my sister has been at my grandma's is my grandma has escaped COVID. She's up in the mountains of North Carolina. That's where their summer home is. So my grandma has been away there and then my sister has been staying here. My sister has pigs, she has birds, she has ducks, she has all kinds of crazy animals here. Hannah is inside. She's bringing the pig outside because we're gonna have this pig wander around the yard. We're gonna dig a mud pit so this pig can bathe in the mud. Pigs absolutely love to bathe in the mud. And the reason why they love to bathe in the mud is because it kind of gives them a protectant on their skin, kind of like a sunscreen, like a barrier for their skin. Hannah is here in the back of the yard right now and she has her little pig son, Ragu. So this is Ragu. Ragu kind of likes to be held. Now, Ragu is also a little Rasta man right here. We have him a nice little Bob Marley hat. Guys, go right now and comment down below if you like this little Rasta hat for Mr. Ragu right here. Hannah, why don't you tell us how you got Ragu? How'd you get Ragu? So, some lady who her kids watch my channel, she actually DM'd me on my Instagram saying that she works at a slaughterhouse. And this was the runt, guys. And... They were, you know, going to put him down. He wasn't going to make it because he wasn't sucking on the mom's nipples. Now, 
She DM'd me to see if she took him from the slaughterhouse if I would be able to raise him. And of course, I could not resist. And he is just, you know, grown up so well, guys. Yeah, guys, my sister has done an absolutely amazing job raising Ragu the runt. This little guy is so adorable. He loves to root and he's actually a type of kum kum pig. Now, kum kum pigs are actually from New Zealand. Bro, where are you going? Oh my gosh, guys. Ragu has taken off on us. He doesn't want to be caught. Oh my gosh. Ragu, where are you going, man? Dude, come here. Ragu wants to escape us. Look at this. He's being a little escape artist. What Ragu really wants is he actually just wants to come out here in the yard. He absolutely loves hanging out in the grass and rooting. We've got him in open space. Hannah's there. We gotta get Ragu. Oh my gosh, guys. Now we're not hurting Ragu. This is fun for Ragu. It's like a game for him. He loves being chased. Hannah's there. Ragu, Ragu, come here. Okay, get him, get him, get him. No, no, no. <laughs> Hannah's got him cornered. She's got Ragu cornered. Ragu, man, hurry up, dude, relax. Okay, Hannah got the got Rasta, the Rasta hat. hat. Okay, we didn't want him to get his Rasta hat dirty. Dude, what are you doing, man? What are you doing, boy? So basically what we're going to be doing with little Ragu back here is we're actually going to be building a big mud pit. Like I was saying before, pigs absolutely love. Like I was saying before, pigs absolutely love to hang out in the mud. In the summertime when it's really, really hot out, they actually love to go inside of that mud. They like to cool off and that almost gives them basically like a sunscreen. It helps moisturize their skin. So what I'm going to do now is, well, I'm going to go head in the garage. I'm going to grab a shovel and I'm going to dig a mud pit for Ragu. Yeah. We've got our shovel. Now what we have to do is start digging our mud pit. So we pretty much have our little mud pit entirely dug up. Now we're gonna actually be filling this with water and Ragu the pig is gonna come in and he's going to get to actually play around in here. It's gonna be his little mud pit. Pigs absolutely love it. Now if you guys have ever seen pigs rooting where they're digging their nose in the ground, I don't know if you've ever heard of feral hogs in Florida. Basically they destroy golf courses and all kinds of places by actually rooting and digging up the grass. And what they're looking for is they're looking for little bugs like this. They're looking for grubs. These little grubs are absolutely absolutely delicious to them. They absolutely love them. And since there's no chemicals sprayed in this backyard, we're actually gonna try to feed these little grubs to little Ragu the pig over there. And we're gonna try to feed them the grubs and then we're going to fill our pond up. Oh my gosh, guys. I was just talking about rooting and we came over here and look at Ragu. He's already started to root the dirt here. Dude, I've already done the hard work for you. Here, here, have a grub. Look at him, he's trying to eat the grub. Dude, come here, here, Ragu, Ragu. He's eating the little bugs. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, he just ate it. Look at that. Look at this. He just took it and ate it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think he spit it out. Come here, try it again. Oh, he's going again. He's going again. Guys, this is absolutely insane. I've never fed a pig grubs before, but look, he's absolutely loving it. Here, bro. Here, have another one. Have another little treat. Have a snack. Look right here, bro. Come here. Oh yes, it's so good. So delicious, Ragu. Eat the grub, boy. Here you go. Would you look at that? Our hole is dug right here. We got a nice little mud pit for Ragu the pig. Ragu's hanging out over there. And the hose is broken, so we're literally just going to take this bucket. And we're just going to pour it into this mud pit right here. We're going to make this a nice little mud pit right here. And as you can see, this is just a total mud pit for Ragu the pig. So I'm just going to slide this bucket just slightly out of the way. And we're going to bring Ragu this way. Ragu, hey, man. Look over here, bro. Look over here, look, there's a mud pit for you, this way. Look, buddy, hi, man. Hey, let me just pet you, bro. Look at him, you can tell he's a happy pig. He's wagging his little pigtail right there. How you doing, buddy, how you doing? You wanna bite me? Oh my gosh, he's like, he's got some serious little teethers on him. Hey, be nice to me, bro, be nice. I'm nice to you, so you be nice to me, okay, man? Okay. Well, I've made this great big mud pit for little Ragu, but, you know, it seems as if Ragu does not want to go in the mud pit at all. I've kind of brought him towards it and he doesn't like it at all. So obviously we're not gonna force him inside of the mud pit. If he doesn't wanna be in there, well, he doesn't wanna be in there. He is just enjoying his time, rooting up a storm, having a good time back here. Ragu, what are you doing, dude? Guys, go right now and comment down below. Why do you think Ragu did not want to go inside of his mud pit? I wanna know what all of you guys think. I think he's just a young pig. He just wants to explore the yard. I think once it's really hot out, I think he'll go in the mud pit, but sadly, I do not think in today's video we're going to get to get Ragu to go inside of his mud pit. You know, sometimes videos do not go as planned, and this is one of them, so I guess we're just gonna follow Ragu around, watch
watch him as he's rooting. I can see him right now. He's got something in his mouth. I, th I think he's eating rocks. I don't know. Let's take a look. So by allowing Ragu to actually root and forage around, you can see he's a happy pig. He's wagging his tail. This is allowing him to experience new sights, sounds, and smells. This ground is full of all kinds of smells, new texture. So you, what you have here on the ground is you have this soft ground here. Then you have more of this dry leaf litter here. So Ragu is just having an absolute blast hanging out in this area, checking it out here. You want a piece of a fern? Oh, I'm sorry if I scared you, bud. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you did enjoy watching today's pig video. You know, sometimes videos do not go according to plan, and today is one of those days. I had planned for Ragu to have an absolutely amazing, cool time in his mud pit, and well, he didn't want to go in his mud pit. He would rather root in the grass, so guess what? We're going to let Ragu the pig root in the grass. I've got to go watch him. i got to make sure he doesn't dig out. i got to make sure he does not get into something he is not supposed to get in. So, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to go give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to go comment down below why you think Ragu did not want to go inside of the mud pit. And guys, if you are not subscribed already, you want to see more pigs, you want to see macaws, you want to see tigers, lions, turtles, tortoises, all kinds of crazy animals, well, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever I post.